We're back with Dina and Jerry for a follow-up. It's been six months. You realize that? Six months since we did that first interview. Wow. Six wow. months. Oh so I thought I'd come back and see what's happened in six months. So in what's happened months. in six months? How are you guys doing? Well, uh, God's working. Um, I just talked to my daughter, my youngest baby, and I, I lost. And God, I just got the phone with her. And, um, and we're still really in shock. Um, I started crying when I was talking to her, of course. Her voice sounds just well, like Well, tell, tell us the story. What's the story? Oh, my God, the story. This is a good story. <laughs> my husband was in prison. I'm so sorry this happened. I planned to keep her so bad, and everything that went wrong. Jerry got arrested, went to prison. Um, I mm. was on the run. On the run from the Probation law? Probation violation. Okay. Um... Uh, I escaped from the hospital. When you she escaped was born. from the hospital. I had to leave her in the hospital. Oh man. Call CPS and tell him. And you never saw her again. I had to give her up. No, oh. because I was on the run, and I got caught months later. Um, did my time. Couldn't get her back. Didn't have a prayer getting her back. Um, it was December. 18th, there was ice out on the ground. I was in Jerry's car. She always, she was almost born in the elevator. In uh, the hospital? Yeah. Oh. But um, after she was born, they found out who I was and they arrested me hmm. uh, in the hospital. And so then, I escaped. and that was how many years ago? I don't think that was the right thing to do. 15 years ago. I 15. I don't think your escape was Randy right Randy helped me. He <laughs> didn't want me to go to jail with a C-section. I didn't want to go to jail with a C-section. I was already losing the baby. If that. I went to jail, I lost her too. Anyway, I had no way out. I flight at the time, so I ran. And uh, so you didn't see her for 15 years, and you just I heard. I still haven't seen her, but, I've heard but her you've just heard from her for the first time in yeah, 15 years. Yeah, months ago, and the first. She time, tracked you down somehow. She, Sandra, tracked. But yeah, she found us on Facebook. We had an ad out for her on Facebook, I believe. Sandra put an ad out for her. Okay. Uh, uh, I've always wanted to. Justin, and Justin did too. I believe. Justin did too. Um, is she in Texas? Yes. Yeah, she's, she's in Texas. She's a beautiful little girl. God bless her. But like I said, um, I had to escape the hospital. There was ice out on the ground. It was just really a bad time of year. Jerry's mm -hmm. uncle was mad because he was in prison and I was pregnant. So um, it was just a bad deal. Uh -huh. I understand there may have been some controversy possibly done by me, who knows. Some children apparently got omitted from the first interview. It's possible I could have edited it out. I don't know because, you know, I do edit well, these. But be sure to say hi to all your kids because we don't want to miss them. anybody, right? I love them. So let's, Let I know it's kind of complicated. So tell me about all your kids. How many kids you got? Um, I got eight. We have a total of nine. We have a total of nine. Oh, nine nine with Jesse, my stepson. I have a... Uh, Another son by another, uh, I have a, a son named Jesse in Kent, Texas, and he too had Hoskins uh, lymphoma cancer. Hmm. We want to uh, get a hold of him real bad. Uh, and I've lost touch with him. Um, I understand my son Justin uh, has been in touch with him. But I'm going to take this opportunity right now to say, uh, starting with the girls, ladies are always first. Uh, he let me start with the too. youngest, Jennifer. I love you, sweetheart. Uh, happy birthday, Ernie. And uh, or maybe by the time this comes out, it'll be your birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, baby. And uh, Jennifer, you are so loved. I really, I have tons of regrets. Uh, that, I, that, that I wasn't uh, there and more involved in you, all you guys' lives. So, uh, hmm. Jennifer, I'm gonna move on. Your mom and dad are still together. They're biological it parents, and we love you and want you. That's all you really need to know. Hannah, uh, you're my second, uh, my, Dean and I's second uh, youngest daughter. And sweetheart, I love you with all my heart. We named you Rachel, Rachel Island Lynn. Lynn. 
know as why you know. It. Autumn's beautiful. Well, <clears throat> the parents change it anyway. Let's. Uh, that was their their right and their their option. Uh, Jerry Jacob, my uh, youngest son. Oh my God, dinner. he's so good looking. Uh, <laughs> all my kids turned out really, really. So uh, Jeremy, he's a bomb. <laughs> Jerry, uh, Jerry Jr. Uh, no, no. Whatever your name is your now, I love you, and, and I want I want to see you, and we um, love you, and, and we want you. Always uh, Jeremy, I God, love you, buddy, Jeremy, and so I talked to you. you. I talked to you, we and, did uh, fight for you and one you time, and I wish you'd call me back. Uh, okay, I'm kind of at a loss. And Jesse, well, we gotta get this on. Okay, okay, Jesse, I love you. I want to hear from you. Um, I want to hear from each and every one of you, and of course, Sandra. In order in age, Sandra, Lavanda, and Justin. I love each and every one of you. All you guys know that. I've been involved in you guys' lives uh, quite a bit. And uh, still not as much Lavanda as I wanted Marie, to Marie, your mother needs you. And I wanna, I'm want i going to buy some of your makeup. I've seen it on Facebook, baby. Lavanda Marie, you need to call me. I love you, baby. So I, okay. I do want to know what's been going on with you guys. Okay. Man, I'm in a SRO, which is called single room occupancy. Right. Uh, it's so expensive to live here. Yeah. Uh, but I got housing, and uh, so I'm do you still have any regre housing. any regrets that you came here, or are you glad? Uh, are you well, glad? No, I'm glad we hit San Francisco. I'm you are you? Here. I don't yeah. think I I'd be alive I if I, was, I don't think I'd have been alive if I stayed in Dallas. My health was really bad. No. I was on oxygen, but uh, my biggest regret is the fact that I'm so far away from all my family, mm. yeah. which really mostly is just my kids now. So you ever do you ever think like you would ever want to go back to Texas, or you think you're Not in San Francisco for good? My babies and my grandkids. So you're so you're here for good. Jennifer knows I'm very sorry. I lost her, and she does not want me to. <laughs> She God knows she knows that. Anyway, but yes, I love San Francisco, and it's the oceans here. Jerry can breathe here. You don't have to walk around with oxygen on. Um, mm. I'm glad I'm here, but not unless I can be with my grandbabies and my kids. No, I wouldn't want to go mm. back. You're I'm still you're still living in the shelter, though, right? Yeah, so but I'm happy there. You're other happy there. Other than they made a mistake the other day, and mm. I'll explain more about that later. But that's right fine. now, I don't want to leave it disclosed. Sure, that's fine. Are you guys registered to vote by any chance? You guys ever yeah. voted? Yes, we are. Yeah, did you vote? Uh, no. You didn't, but you're I, registered. I yeah. am voting on for for some things. I used to didn't vote on nothing, mm -hmm. and <laughs> not voting has just as big of an effect as mm -hmm. voting. Yeah. But there are so many things here that I am voting for, like for homeless people to get help, yeah. Uh, for the yeah. people on SSI and Social Security. Mm. Uh, There's not enough housing. Every here. time no the country. Only SROs. That's right. Uh, housing is really expensive here. And, yep. and Tenderloin housing it should not, is awful. <laughs> and I want to say that on air. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway. I think everybody agrees with that and they're yeah. taking too much money. I believe the solution is. A, a giant class action lawsuit because by law you're not supposed to take anybody on Social Security or SSI. You're not if if you're leasing to them low income housing. Mm -hmm. By law you're not supposed to charge them more than a third of their income. Mm -hmm. Well, tenderloin really? housing, which I stay in. Now I signed a contract, which was their lease, so I guess that's their loophole. Mm -hmm. But they shouldn't be charging over a third of their rent, hmm. over a third of my income. Yeah. And yeah. no no hotel, how, how, housing, apartments, anything, houses, anybody that's leasing to low income hmm. should not charge over a third. Hmm. And until a giant that class happens. action lawsuit happens, the I don't think it's going to change. Hmm. The mayor here does some wonderful things. Yeah, he's um, great. I'll say that. And Dallas mayor could sure take a lesson from him. I do agree with that. Uh, <laughs> the laws in Dallas compared to here are really crazy. The homeless people in, in, in Dallas, I really, my heart, my heart goes out there. to them. Hmm. 
uh, you know, and as far as Dan and I being together, it's hard to say I'm married to someone that I get to spend, if I'm lucky, an hour a month with. Yeah, why, uh, so why is that? Why, why? Because I'm 86 from the Tenderloin Housing because of an argument. Uh, a lady used to work at the shelter. And I do want uh, that on there because really sucks <laughs> and I'll say that and do not edit that out. Uh, I have to I'll edit out the name of the hotel but I'll leave the rest okay in. you can say <laughs> so do you guys have bank accounts I'm curious uh, do you have bank accounts I do but it's empty it's empty okay <laughs> I personally uh, manage I manage my money pretty well uh, I had a problem with mm -hmm. and they owed me $450 on a check that I got refunded yeah, they didn't even from my check last month. Uh, a, li a, a place I moved out of, refunded mm -hmm. my money. Oh, uh, okay. And I, went from an opportunity I cashed the check out. with, and somehow or another, the banker, hmm. I think, may have scammed the money or something, but they hit me with the check fee of $450, and there's no possible way that check was bad. Wow. And says I owe four hundred fifty dollars, so I went to open a new new bank account, and they said that until I got a credit problem straightened out, I couldn't uh, open the account. Okay. Okay. So, we got so you're so you're just dealing on a cash basis now. Uh, yes, but I, I I do well handling my cash. Yeah. Okay. You know, and, uh, I was just curious. So, are you a Giants fan now? Have you changed to be a Giants fan? Uh, <laughs> I'm they're, my the game is favorite, over. they're my second favorite. They're my second favorite team, and they are. <laughs> they're my second favorite team, and uh, they're the rival team. I'm, I'm still a Texas Ranger fan. Okay. I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan, and the 49ers being the Dallas Cowboys out. rival uh, team. Okay. So I'm you also are, all right. The 49ers fan I'm is my second love, favorite man, football team. So. Okay. Hey, um, the story I now? was sitting right down the street here and waiting on a friend of mine and. I do believe that two people I know took the money out of my sock. It was uh, about four hundred dollars. Out of your sock. I, out of my sock. Were you what, you were sleeping or what? No. Uh, well, I was sitting there, and, and yes, I nodded off. Oh, okay. And they took it out of your sock. Yeah. Hmm. She had been and up. it was so somebody you, I so know, keep, uh, obviously. Is there any money in there in your sock now? I wish. <laughs> but it wasn't funny. That's a big loss. And, yeah. I, and I had to know them for them to do it and know yeah. where it was. But someone came to your rescue, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so but you still lost the money. Yeah. Because he, he made off with it. Um, mm. San Francisco is a pretty dangerous no. place. I Nobody really came to my rescue, but somebody helped me, you know, like yeah. with a few dollars. So, you know. But not really nothing major, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm fixing to go back and get my GED, and, and uh, okay. I'm planning on going back to college and uh, yeah, doing to something to, to make enough money to start me another painting company. So hopefully I can move back to Texas yeah. and have air, nice air conditioned cars well, and a nice this. home. Uh, okay, so. I got to be in at seven. I have a car for you, and I got to go get something to wear for real. Okay. Because I stopped a guy from breaking in some cars up on Franklin. Oh, did you? And a police officer that was off duty the other day, they tried to get in his Durango, and I stopped that, and that's a good story. Mm -hmm. um, but he keeps coming back, and he got away with somebody's laptop, and I hope the cops catch him soon. Mm -hmm. But okay. that's something good to have. So you're a one-woman crime fighter. I'm trying. <laughs> one woman. When I was selling papers. Sure. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, it for me. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, good, that, good to talk to you, you. and we'll uh, see you maybe. Are y'all we'll, going we'll to catch house? up with you. Yep, we are. So we we'll catch up with you later. What the problem is too. All right. Um. Anyway, um, I'll tell you more later. That's fine. Okay.